the origin of the bang apparently came from you randomly yelling it at Fordham basketball games in the stands. Did you ever get any weird looks for that? No, but do you, do you ever, when you go to a college game and you see somebody either dressed with all the, the war paint on or screaming stuff? No, it's when you're a college kid, there's no, nothing matters more than if your, your college team wins. So we would, there was a, a group of about eight of us that we went to every single road game. Now, Fordham back then didn't do a lot of traveling. You know, they'd go down to LaSalle, Philadelphia, St. Peter's, Jersey City, and we'd go to all the games. And when a Fordham player hit a big shot, I would yell bang. Um, and that was before the three-point line. There was no three-point line back then. Um, and then when I started doing the broadcasts on the college radio station, I tried it and I didn't think it worked. I just, I didn't like it because I didn't say the basket was good. And I thought, no, I, they don't know that the, the listeners don't know that. So I shelved it. But then when I started doing like these high school games of the week for a, a local cable channel, I tried it again. And there was a game I think it was in Atlanta. It was a, we used to do these Friday night games, and there's no better atmosphere than a Friday night high school game in a town where the, the team is good, and the place was packed, uh, maybe 3,000, but the loudest gym I'd ever been in in my life, and it's going crazy, and it was a big shot at the end, and I tried it because my voice was not capable of overriding the crowd, and it kind of clicked like, oh, that was the perfect way to just one syllable, concise word, on a big shot and let the crowd take over the rest because you use the crowd for, for part of your broadcast, as they call laying out. And I liked it then, so I, that's when I started using it more and more. And when I first started doing it on Nick Games uh, as a Nick radio voice, I remember there was a, a, a columnist killed me for it, called it lame. <laughs> and I'm thinking, nah, I, I don't agree with that. Um, can I ask a couple of people, do you think? And they said, no, no, it's good, it's good. So I kept it. Yeah, you know, I tried to make dunk shot my shtick, and it just didn't work. <laughs> well, we, we both kind of crushed you on that. Did the columnist, did the columnist ever, um, not apologize, but did he ever, like, no, revise his... No, no, no. What a terrible take. Yeah, well... It's, it's the only reason he's in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> but I've used, I've, I've tried dunk shot a few times after, and it just, it just, it's just, it's not sticking. It doesn't resonate. Right. It doesn't resonate. Right. Uh, do you remember your first bang in an NBA game? It had to be a Nick game on the radio. I can't yeah. give you the first yeah. one. Uh, you, t you told, I think it was during the finals last year, if I'm not mistaken, you, you went on our friend Pablo's podcast, ESPN Daily, and you called the Ray Allen shot against uh, the Spurs the most significant bang of your career. What was it about that particular moment that was so meaningful? Um, because it decided a championship. That shot doesn't go down. San Antonio wins. That goes in. Now they've got a chance, you know, obviously to, to win a title that they're, they're desperate to win. Um, also, it had something to do with him as well. And you could relate to this as well as anybody. Every single time I went to an arena to cover his games, whether it was Seattle, Milwaukee, Boston, Miami, I get that. I like to get there early. He was always there ahead of time and he was always out on the court. And those were the shots he were ta was taking. So if anybody was comfortable in taking that big shot, it was him. And to see and know all the hard work he put into it for that moment, it, it meant something to me as a fan that this son of a gun, all that stuff, now it comes to fruition with, with this one great shot. And because it meant so much in, in what was a great game between two great teams with some of the great players that the league has ever seen, um, I think that's, that's probably why. It's hard to pick one, but that, that's got to be the 